khidaf about the phase is it's a well-known khidaf. The majority of scholars um, do not consider the face to be aura or the hands of a woman. But there are many, many scholars, and if you probably took a consensus, you'd find, I don't know, I, I, I don't want to say that, but there are many, many scholars that argued that when times get corrupt, then women should cover their faces. And this is why you got veiling became so prevalent in many, many Muslim countries. But veiling is not, uh, it was not the, um, the practice of that early community. Um, the, the, the hajj, the, the woman is not permitted to wear a veil during the hajj, going around Kaaba, um, or to wear gloves. And these were actually things that uh, come in when you have, there was a urf, undeniably, and there were certain Arabs that used uh, the burqa as well, which is a, which was in the Jahili poetry. Uh, but women tended to have a khimar, which is a head covering. And this is why people say, oh, there's no headscarf in the Quran. Uh, they don't know Arabic, because the khumar in the Quran that's mentioned are the head coverings. And they were told to, to, to take their head coverings, which was jahali urf, and to cover the bosom, the jayub. The jayb is a cut. Like your jayb in your pocket is a cut. So the jayb is the neckline of the woman's cloth. Uh, so the women were told to take the khumar, the khimar, and then to cover with it the, uh, the bosom, because the jahili women would cover their heads, but they would leave their, their uh, cleavage uh, open. And so Allah told them, no, cover the head and the cleavage, which is why a lot of the traditional way of wearing the headscarf was to use the, the khimar and to cover the, the, the front with it as well. And you'll still see that. But that's not, they don't have to do that. The, the, they can use other material to do that. That's the, 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 the Quranic injunction was because that's the material that they had. So as long as they're covered, um, whether they do it with the khimar or with the uh, whatever clothes they're wearing. So, and then you have the chador, which is probably closer to what the early women wore. They, they had an outer garment that they would wear and they could, they could hold it with their, so they didn't have a face veil, but they could cover their faces when they wanted to. And they, they certainly did that. And uh, there's, there's plenty of evidence. But they're, they're, the hadith of, uh, of um, uh, at the Hajj, when the Prophet ﷺ was giving the farewell uh, khutbah, um, is very clear because he took the, the face of, of um, Al-Abbas' son and he, he just, he, he moved it away because he was staring at a woman. And he, t he turned his face away from her. So he didn't tell the woman to cover her face. He told uh, the man to lower his gaze. And, and so what he's saying is, is it's not permissible uh, when there's a fit fitna. And also if looking for any long period of time will lead to a fitna. Um, and again, when they say fitna, they're talking about ledva. Oh, oh, oh.